Spirit, take me from this place, so let me run free. Today it is laundry day. It is about two and a half miles with the dinghy to get to Cala Dor, which is a town a bit. I took your phone, yeah. A town a bit further south. We don't want to go in there because we have to pay a lot, and also the other nice bays there are forbidden to anchor. So we're gonna take the dinghy today, go about half an hour with the dinghy, and then do some laundry because we haven't done that in over a month and it's very necessary now. Spirit, take me from this place, so let me run free. Place me right within the view beneath the tallest tree. Let the vain and proud drown within the vanity. Welcome back to another episode of See the Little Things. What you just watched was last year October, about two weeks before we arrived in the marina, which is where we are now again. We just arrived last week back here and I think we are very lucky we actually managed because 90% of flights were cancelled and I think it was probably meant to be that we get back here, back to blue and start the new season soon. We've been doing boat jobs for the whole week, like crazy, every day, working day and night, mostly days. Got somebody knocked. No. And we can't wait to get out again. The silver lining with this season is that well, it started late, but there are very few boats out there, so it's gonna be a good year of sailing as it was 30 years ago. We heard that uh, the Balearics, where we are planning to go and where we also are still in the video that you were just watching, is gonna be really empty. Normally, July, August, it is cramped with boats, and right now there's basically nobody, so that is pretty cool. But before we go back to the present, we still have a buttload of footage left from last season, which is actually eight months ago, which is insane. And we will tell you in another video what happened between then and now, but that's for next time. And right now, we will just go back to Mallorca. Let's jump right into it. We're on our way to Calador, which is a pretty long dinghy ride, a couple of bays further. And I have to say, I'm very happy Alex wanted a new dinghy and ours broke because with our old dinghy, we never would have made this, at least I would not have, because it is a bit bumpy going there and our boat would have taken up every wave that comes. The engine is still really loud and not that quick, so that is less good, but we arrived all in one piece, dry and only had some hearing damage. So that's it. Let's jump right back into it. Tied our dinghy up somewhere in the harbor. Hope that nobody noticed that it doesn't belong to the boat we tied it next to. Of course, I forgot my shoes. Stupid. So we have to be careful. I'm a hippie today. We just re-anchored and now we're all tied up nicely. Feels a lot better. We are with our nose in the swell right now, facing outside. And this is just the most beautiful spot ever. Look at this. Massive mansion. Everything around this is private property, except for the beach. So that's all set. I thought I'm gonna make some applesauce because I still have dinner, which would be really good with applesauce and I haven't seen it in a while. Plus I can make my own sugar-free version, which is just apples and a little bit of water, to be honest. 
and if you want some cinnamon. So let's go do that. That difficult. Can you imagine? Cut it up, all small, a little bit of water, cinnamon, put on the lid and bring it to a boil and wait until it is mushy. And if it's then not saucy enough, you can always put it in a blender. And you have perfectly great applesauce. Have you ever arrived at a place which you built up in your head so much that it is disappointing upon arrival? Well, Cala Michana was the opposite. I had built it up in my head for months, but it is impossible to imagine a magical reality when you haven't seen it with your own eyes. We had found our own piece of paradise, alone and away from everything, but somehow close to the human life. Or, well, at least to a massive mansion with a professional lawnmower person. We couldn't seem to get ourselves to this point where we feel like pulling up anchor and Ceylon, so we simply didn't. We spent at least a whole week in this bay, and during the day we got company from tourists, and towards the evening, Everybody left and we had this magical place all to ourselves again. But even magic can't last forever and at some point reality catches up with you. In this case, reality came in the form of winds and especially swell, turning this paradise into the less fun kind of whirlpool. We are never leaving again. I just cannot get over the fact that this bay is like an aquarium. It is so insane. We literally have our own fish. And even with the camera, look at that. You can see the bottom so good. And it's about four and a half meters deep. Here are some more fishies. Hello. And we still have a couple of jellyfish hanging around, but it's not too many anymore. Big fish! Look at this! Loads of tiny fish, bigger fish, massive fish, jellyfish. Starfishes. Love you! Jellyfishes. Love you! Swordfishes. Love you! Jellyfishes. Love you! Starfish. I love you! But look at it, babe. Sometimes the water is so flat and it's not moving. I can just almost count the sand grains. Well, before I saw the second duck, there were the two of them when I was on the pedal board. Yeah. They dive deep. They're like fish. They go all the way to the bottom. Like, mm -hmm. that's really cool. And when they swim on the water, they actually look like fish. It's crazy. Oh, look, look the big one is going fast. Where are you going? Where are you going? Everybody always leaves at night. I really don't understand. If you're a boat charter person, please tell us why you leave this place for the night. Is there like a better, a better place? We have got a variety of lunch options today because we are still in paradise. And we're just cutting movies, swimming a bit and not doing too much. But now we're gonna have some good lunch, like tapas Spanish, not really, but a bit. We got something really good. This is cream cheese with pineapple and garlic. Then we got bruschetta. I hope I pronounced that right. We still have a little bit of cucumber salad left and some homemade applesauce for dessert. And we put them all on this nice toasted bread, toasted in olive oil. You ready for lunch? The 
next few days are going to be rough weather, so we need a hidey spot. Uh, we decided to go to Andrax, which is 50 miles from here, so still half the island that we need to cover. Uh, we're going to do that tomorrow. It's the last day with no winds, and then Tuesday on we have strong winds coming from all sides, and then until the end of the week it's rain and um, swell and winds everywhere. We are stuck on an anchor and a stern anchor and a line on the rocks. And we want to leave tomorrow at 5 in the morning. There's another boat that just moved up next to us and I think they uh, crossed our stern anchor. So we have to check that. Otherwise we can move tomorrow morning. We're thinking of maybe just putting a line on this part of the bay. We have a little spider's net holding it in place tonight. And then we just remove those lines tomorrow morning. Excited to swim? Oh yeah. It's actually kind of cool when it's that wavy. I like it. Oh. But I will to put on a wetsuit because I will be really cold. I tried yesterday without it. After like 15 minutes, my fingers start to die, so I have to wear something. That's why we got a wetsuit. We retrieved the stern anchor. What? And many checked on the main anchor. There we go. So there we go. That's our new invention. We we'll just lock off the bay and keep those trapped. They said it's fine, so. You probably noticed in the end we had a bit of a trouble because we had swell coming in and that new boat that crossed our stern anchor line. We were attached with main anchor in the front, landline on port side and stern anchor starboard side and that stern anchor was just right in the middle of the kaya. So they anchored on top of that. That wasn't ideal because we had to leave early in the morning. So we talked to the guys and the solution was to put another line from starboard to the other side of the kaya and practically cage them in which sounds horrible because if they slip or something goes wrong with them they are not able to leave the kaya and they would be trapped in that little whirlpool of rocks and waves and all but sometimes things aren't simple they didn't have another place to go and we needed to leave so we figured that would be the best solution if you have another idea how we could have done that differently let us know in the comments, we would love to learn and love to have a better way. So next up is our sail from Kalamitana to Andrax, to the other side of the island, which we start very early in the morning in the dark, in which we have to leave this very narrow kala where there is no light. So if you want to know how that ends, then check out the video that is linked here or here, one of the two, because we already did that video somewhere in October. If you've already seen it, I'm sorry, you're going to have to wait till next week for the next video, otherwise you got a second one to watch. Good morning, we are leaving early today because we have a long stretch and the days are very short. I need to go help Alex out.